creatures, it's Em and I'm here today to blow your minds with five animals which you've probably never heard of. If you haven't already, remember to hit that subscribe button down below, become part of the creature crew and also hit that notification bell down in the corner there so you don't miss a single upload. Assisting me today is Baba Kook. Baba Kook, are you ready to have your mind blown? I think that's a yes. Mind blowing creature number one. The tardigrade. Tardigrades are commonly called water bears and moss piglets. Tardigrades are tiny microscopic invertebrates which are almost completely indestructible. Tardigrades can be found living in the beds of lakes, in moss patches, and even at the tops of freezing cold mountains, making them hugely adaptable. Tardigrades can withstand scorching hot temperatures of more than 300 degrees Fahrenheit and they can also survive the ice cold temperatures of minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit. How do tardigrades survive these sorts of temperatures? They tuck their heads and arms close to their bodies and turn themselves into a dehydrated ball. They enter a sleep-like death called cryptobiosis, where they're completely dormant. Then, when they're introduced to the right conditions again, they rehydrate, unfurl, and carry on living. Tardigrades can also withstand huge amounts of radiation, as well as crushing atmospheric pressure. They would be completely at ease even in the deepest part of the Mariana Trench, which is the sea's deepest known point. Even in water, tardigrades have a special adaptation for if they find themselves in water with very little oxygen. They can reduce their metabolic rate and stretch out their bodies to absorb as much of the available oxygen as possible. They can usually survive like this until there is more available oxygen. In 2006, scientists discovered tardigrades which had been frozen in a state of cryptobiosis for over 30 years inside a piece of moss. The tardigrades were rehydrated and immediately came back to life and started searching for food. Relatable. They're like little aliens, which is very fitting because they can even survive in outer space. In 2007, tardigrades were sent to outer space and exposed to high levels of the sun's UV, as well as space's perfect vacuum. After 10 days, they were brought back to Earth, rehydrated, and were brought back to life in less than 30 minutes. And with the bonus of healthy little tardigrade embryos. Aww, little space tardigrade embryo alien things. Tardigrade fossils show that they have been around for over 530 million years, making them even older than the dinosaurs. In fact, if there was a global disaster and Earth's life was completely wiped out, tardigrades would likely be one of the only creatures to survive. Live small and die never. Good job, Cook. That was very intense. Tardigrades are practically indestructible, just like Twinkies and the Nokia 3310. That throwback. Amazing animal number two. The Binturong. The Binturong, or the bear cat, is neither a bear nor a cat. The Binturong is an arboreal creature closely related to the Asian palm civet. They can be found in the dense rainforests of Southeast Asia and, being tree dwellers, are very secretive and difficult to spot. From a simple picture, the Binturong looks quite cute and small, but in actual fact, it is a gargantuan, supersized animal with a bulky body and a very long tail. Binturong have a prehensile tail, which is like another arm. With this prehensile tail, Binturong can balance, hold onto branches, and even briefly hang from their tail if they have to. Binturong can turn their ankles 180 degrees, which means that they can climb head first down a tree, unlike bears which have to shimmy down tail first. Binturong are predominantly a nocturnal species, but they will sometimes be active during the daylight hours too. They have a very diverse diet, and although Binturong are carnivores, snacking on carrion, other animals, and fish, they also will have fruits, greens, and eggs too. Perhaps their most popular claim to fame is their smell. Can you guess out of these three foods which Binturong are known to smell like?
If you guessed popcorn, you guessed correctly. Bin Terong are well documented as smelling just like a batch of freshly made popcorn. Bin Terong are vital to the health of their rainforests because they can spread seeds with their droppings, depositing the next generation of fruit trees with its own fertilizer package. Delightful. I personally love Binturong. I would die to meet a Binturong. And creature number three is called the Eye Eye. The Eye Eye. The Eye Eye looks somewhere between a cross of the cutest little curiosity and something you definitely do not want to see at the foot of your bed in the middle of the night. No, it's not a demon. It's actually a lemur. The Eye Eye's natural habitat is Madagascar and it's the world's largest nocturnal primate. The Eye Eye has a special elongated middle finger and teeth which never stop growing, just like a rodent. At at night, eye eyes hunt for invertebrates in a very special way. They are the only primate to use echolocation. They tap on trees and listen for the echoes. When they can hear the hollow area of a tree, they use their sharp teeth to gnaw away at the tree's bark. Then they insert their long, special, skinny little middle finger into the trees and scoop out their tasty treat. Eye eyes can live for over 20 years in captivity, but in the while this would be significantly less due to deforestation and predators such as the fossa. The Eye Eye is basically if Disney Pixar decided to create an animated story about Albert Einstein as an animal but then he dies and comes back as a zombie. That is what the Eye Eye looks like. Am I right or am I right? I think I'm right. Comment down below if I am right. Because of their peculiar appearance, they are feared by people in Madagascar. The Eye Eye is thought to be an omen of bad luck. Some villagers believe that the Eye Eye will sneak into people's houses at night and use their little middle finger to puncture the arteries of sleeping humans. This of course is not true, but they are still persecuted and killed out of superstition and fear. Amazing animal number four, the Greenland Shark. The Greenland Shark is one of Earth's living relics. Greenland Sharks are believed to be the Earth's longest lived vertebrates. You may think that some tortoises can live a long time, but they have nothing on the Greenland Shark. Scientists have studied the Greenland Sharks and found specimens to be between 300 and 500 years old. Greenland Sharks are happiest in the deep, icy cold waters, and they inhabit the north of the Atlantic Ocean all the way to the Arctic Ocean. Greenland sharks are massive in size and can reach lengths of 7 meters in length, similar to great white sharks. <laughs> Greenland sharks are large and very slow moving, giving them the nickname Sleeper Shark. They eerily drift through the water at a slow pace and will seldom accelerate because they have very few natural predators when they reach their adult size. The Greenland shark is a carnivorous apex predator. The stomach contents of the sharks have been analyzed and along with fish, Greenland sharks have been found to eat squid, eels, seals, horses, caribou, and even polar bears but it's thought that the Greenland sharks will mostly scavenge for the remains of the larger prey. Many Greenland sharks are actually blind. This is due to pinkish white colored parasites which attach themselves onto the shark's corneas. Greenland sharks are seldom caught for food thanks to their meat being poisonous for humans to eat. There is an extensive fermentation process to making the Greenland shark meat safe to eat, but generally people do not hunt the Greenland shark for its meat or at all. The Greenland shark may look a little scary, but an attack on humans has not been recorded since the 1800s, and this attack was never verified, so it's possible that this massive shark has never attacked a human. Last but certainly not least is creature number five. The Kalugo. The Kalugo is an Asian species of gliding mammal which is found in Southeast Asia. It has been given the nickname the flying lemur, but it's not actually a lemur. Kalugos are arboreal, living in trees and are shy, nocturnal animals which wake up at night time to forage for their favorite foods. I don't know if it's just me, but the Kalugo to me looks like a moldy leaf, but cute, you know? Do you know? Oh no. Kalugo are florivores and will eat leaves, shoots, soft fruits, flowers, nectar, and tree sap. 
Kalugos are perfectly adapted to life gliding through the trees. Like sugar gliders, they have a fleshy membrane which they can stretch out in midair and allow themselves to glide through the trees without losing too much height. As you might be able to tell from their large eyes, they have excellent nocturnal vision. Although they live in trees, they are very clumsy climbers, so they spend most of their day hiding, curled up in the tops of trees, and will seldom glide all the way to the forest floor. The Kalugos are very secretive creatures, and although they are thought to be solitary other than mothers nursing their young, very little else is known about these animals. Uh, nailed it. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, share with your animal mad friends, and also leave a comment down below to let me know if you learned something new. Or if it was too easy, let me know down below and I will make it harder next time. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I will see you in another video soon. Bye! Psst.